So Shopify just recently added PHP or Laravel in their CLI. Or maybe they have already and I was just not paying attention. So in today's video, we will learn how to install Shopify CLI and the required tools for creating Laravel apps or Laravel Shopify apps. If you're ready, let's begin. Now let's start this video by learning the requirements of Shopify CLI. If we take a look at the listed requirements here, we need Ruby, or if you're using Windows, it must have DevKit. Now for Mac users or Mac OS users, there is no need for you to install Ruby because most Mac have pre-installed Ruby. However, make sure that you update it using Homebrew. And also if you're using Mac, install Homebrew because in my own experience with Mac, installing Shopify CLI using Gem is quite frustrating and it gives a lot of errors. So as much as possible, try to use Homebrew you. Next up is Git and you need a partner's account and a development store. In addition to this list, we need an Angrok account because we need to authenticate Angrok. We'll get back to this in a minute. Now since we are going to create a Laravel app, we need to install the following. First is PHP. Next is Composer. And last is the Node.js or NPM. So those are the requirements that we need to have in our system. So let's start by installing Ruby. Open your browser and go to rubyinstaller.org forward slash downloads forward slash and download the recommended stable version, which is this one in bold. And once that's downloaded, just open it and then just follow the following instructions. So accept the license, click next, and then make sure that you enable or check the following checkboxes. Add Ruby executables to your path, this is very important, so make sure that it's checked. Click install and then just leave everything checked. Click next. And then once it's finished, you can just click finished and make sure that this also checked. And that should give you the following terminal. And then here, it should ask you the components that should be installed. So just leave it with one and three and just press enter. And once that's done, you can just press enter once again and it should be installed. Now let's open our command prompt or our terminal. And then here, let's type gem hyphen v. And this time, we should have the following version. Now, the next thing that we're going to install is git. So go back to your browser and open the following URL, git hyphen sem.com forward slash downloads. And then select the operating system that you're using. Since I'm using Windows, I'll pick the Windows installer. And then I'm going to use the 64-bit. Now once that's downloaded, just open it and just follow the installer instructions. Now since I already have Git installed, I am not going to continue this. I'll just cancel this. And then once you have that installed, just open your terminal and type Git and then version. And that should give you the following version of your Git. Now for creating partner's account and a development store, I assume you already have it, so we'll just skip this. But if you don't have an account yet, go to shopify.dev and sign up to create a developer account. Once you are signed up, you should be asked to fill up a form to create a new partner organization. And once you are logged in, go to stores page and create a new development store by clicking the add store button and by selecting development store. And then fill up the following form. Now I'm not going to continue from here since I already have a development store. So what we're going to do next is to install Shopify CLI. Now that we have everything that we need to install Shopify CLI, let's go back to the terminal and install Shopify CLI using gem. So here in the terminal, type gem install Shopify hyphen CLI. Run the command. And once that's installed, we can now run the command Shopify and then version. And there we go. As you can see now we have the version 2.9.0. And if it's also your first time using Shopify CLI, it will ask you to automatically send um, usage and error reports to Shopify. For now, you can just say no. But if you want to turn it on, you can just use the command Shopify reporting on. Awesome, so now it's time to install the requirements for creating Shopify Laravel apps. 
Now, since I already have SAMP installed on my computer, I don't have to install PHP anymore because it's already installed by SAMP. And if you don't have PHP installed yet on your system, you can either download and install SAMP from apachefriends.org or you manually install PHP. Now for Mac users, you can use Homebrew to install PHP. Just run brew install PHP and that should be installed. Okay, so let's just continue and install Composer. Go back to your browser and open get composer.org forward slash download. And then here just download the Composer setup executable. Now if you're using Mac, your installation process is going to be different. Like I said earlier, you should have homebrew because most of the time, that's what you're going to use to install something. So in your case, to install Composer on your Mac system or PC, use the commands brew update and then brew install Composer. So let's just continue here and I'm going to run the Composer setup. And I should have the following. I'll just install for all users. And then I'll click next. And as you can see, since I already have XAMPP installed, it will automatically use the PHP command line. Now, if you want to use the PHP CLI, you can just enable this. Click next, and then just click next, and then click install, and then click next, and then click finish. Now go back to your terminal and run Composer. Now, if you're getting the following error, just restart your command prompt or your terminal, and then try to run it again. It should give me the following commands. Now, if I run the command composer hyphen uppercase V, it should give me the version. So version 2.2.5. And there you go. The last thing that we're going to install is npm. So go back to your browser and open node.js.org. And then download the long-term support. And once that's downloaded, just run it and then click next and then accept the terms and the license agreement and then just click next and just click next and just click next and click install and there you go no npm or node.js should be installed now if you go back to your terminal and this time if you use the npm version or npm hyphen v if you're getting the same error, just restart your terminal. And now if you go back to your terminal and type npm-v, it should give you the version 8.1.2. And there you go, now we have everything installed. We should be able to create Shopify apps in Laravel using Shopify CLI. So now that we have all of the tools that we need to create a new Shopify app using Shopify CLI, the next thing that we're going to do is to create the Shopify apps. So here in the terminal once again, the first thing that we're going to do is to authenticate or to log into our partner organization and development store. So here in the terminal, type Shopify and then log in. It should open a new browser window and then it should ask you to log in and it should say that I am successfully logged in. So we can now close this, and then if we go back to the terminal or the command prompt, it will ask you to select the partner organization. I'm going to select number three with an ID 1800931. So number three, and now I am logged in to my partner organization, Weekly How. But there's another problem, we need to log into our development store. So I'm going to open the development um, store. So here in the Shopify.dev, I'm going to log in. I'm going to select my partner organization with an ID of 1800931. Here in the stores page, let's open our development store. And then I'm going to copy the following URL. Let's go back to the terminal and then use the command Shopify login and then use the store flag. And for its value, just paste the URL that you copied. That's like that. And then it should ask you to select the partner organization associated to that development store. So the development store is in the partner organization with an ID 1800931. So I'm going to select number three. And now it should say that I am logged into the store, the Lana development store, the myshopify.com, and partner organization, Weekly How. Awesome, so now we are authenticated. The next thing we're going to do is to create the Shopify app. 
But before we continue, I'm going to change my directory to a new directory. So CD, and then I'm going to change my directory to the projects folder. And then here, I'm going to um, create a new folder using the MKDAR, and I'll call this Shopify. And then I'll change my directory to Shopify here. And this is where I'm going to create the Shopify apps. So let's just use the Shopify command, app, and then create. And I'm going to use PHP. So Shopify app create PHP. And if you enter this command, it should ask for a name. We'll call this Lara Bell. And then it will ask you whether you want this to be public or custom. I'll use public. And then it will ask you to select where do you want this, um, this Shopify app to be created? Which part or organization? So I'm going to select number three. So if you open your apps page, as you can see, I still don't have the Laravel app. But if I select number three with an ID or the partner organization with an ID 1800931, once this is over, we will see here that Laravel is created. So I'm going to select number three and then it will ask you to select the development store where you want this app to be installed. So I'm going to select number one and it should start creating the Shopify app. And there we go, now it's over. Now if we go back here in our apps page, and if I refresh this page, we should have now the Laravel app. And there we go, so you can see now it's here. If you open that, we should have the following API key, API secret, and so on. So we can just go back to, um, to our terminal and the next thing that we're going to do is to open this project. So use the cd command and then access the Laravel project or project folder. And there you can use the VS code. So code and then that symbol to open the current directory and you should open that folder. And there we go. Now we can just start using the built-in terminal here. So in your terminal and then the next thing that we're going to do is to use the readme file here and then follow the following instruction. So the next is PHP artisan serve to serve this project. But before we do that, I am going to install the modules first, just to be sure. So npm install. And there we go. It's done. The next is npm run watch. So npm run watch. So basically this will compile your webpack. And then after that, we can open a new terminal by clicking this plus button and then we can use composer install and then once it's done we can use the php artisan serve so php artisan serve but we need to set its port to 80 81 there you go and just leave this open create a new terminal and then this is where you're going to use your shopify app serve now, if you want, you can um, authenticate your, your Angrok using the tunnel and then off. And then you can open your browser once again and open angrok.com and then log in. And then once you're logged in, open the auth token page and just copy the following token. And then go back to VS Code and just paste the token here and run the command. And you should authenticate your Angrok and create the following YAML file. And once that's done, you can use the Shopify app serve. And then it will ask you, do you want to update your application URL? Most of the time you should say yes. Now you should have the following URL here. And if you're getting the following error, just ignore it. And just open the following URL. And there you go, as you can see, now we have the following authentication page. Now we can just install this app. And there you go, Laravel is now installed and as you can see, everything is already set. It's making API calls to show you the products. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the like button and by subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'm going to continue this project in the future videos. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell button so you will, you will not miss my future uploads. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. So.